there's some professors that feel, teachers and trainers feel, if they've said it, if they've presented it, then the audience or the students or whoever has, has, has it. And we can't make that assumption. If they hear it once, if they see it once, uh, very shortly it's gone. It doesn't go in, into their memory. But if they see it in multiple ways, if they learn it in different, uh, different uh, approaches, uh, eventually it will move from their short-term memory into their long-term memory, and then they'll actually have it. You need to have those multiple repetitions over time so it'll move from the short-term to long-term memory, and then it'll actually stay there through the exam and beyond into their life because we know a lot of students remember things until the exam, and then that's it. But we want them to learn it naturally beyond that so they can apply it as they go through life. So the important things, uh, give the, that attention and energy so that it does move from the short-term to the long-term memory. Well, we've all been in some situation where we uh, <clears throat> were learning something, we went to a seminar, we were in a class, and they said something and it went into our ears and kind of like this silk is uh, going into my hand. But, you know, what the problem is, is shortly after that it got there, it was gone, okay? So what we want to do actually is to think about it, write it down, go over it, and then eventually what will happen is it will come back. So that can be a good thing. <laughs>